Hi, I am Bogdan from DNN Sharp. Today it's time for another big release, version 2.0 of the most underrated module for DNN, and that is Easy Container. If you are not already familiar, Easy Container basically um, lets you easily adjust container CSS style so you don't have to go into code. And what we've added in version 2.0, we added responsive capabilities. So now it's possible from the container to define how it behaves on various devices, how the container looks on various devices, and how it scales on various devices, most importantly. And we also added a condition section where you can write a server-side condition to dynamically, programmatically determine either the container and therefore the module is visible. Normally, imagine like you do with the permissions. So you just give the permission to some roles and the module shows or not based on those roles. What you can do now is write any kind of condition, for example, show a module only if a certain cookie is set or set a, um, show a module only if the result of a given query returns a certain value. So it's a very, very powerful stuff. Imagine, for example, that you have a blog and you want to show a warning for the authors that haven't published anything in last month, let's say. You just create a SQL token in my tokens and then use it in the condition field. And today we are, we are going to actually do a few examples, simple examples, not that complicated. But before that, I told you that you need my tokens it also works without, without my tokens, but you don't have that power. You can still write uh, server-side condition using standard DNN tokens, but the real power comes from my tokens, so you'll also need to grab that. So, enough talking. Let's go here to a um, development instance, to a test instance. And here, I will uh, first thing that I want to do is show you the basic easy container, like it was in version 1 so you can un you understand what it does in case you you haven't tried this underrated module so far so first thing that we have to do we go to the uh, page settings and select the container we'll use the default container for easy container click update and here you have the edit container button at the bottom. When you open it, this overlay window pops up. You can drag it and it will become transparent so you can see. You can also identify which container it refers to because you could have multiple modules using same or different containers so you can easily see which one this refers to. And then you have all this um, CSS, that basically you, you do this from the CSS or from the container CSS file. You'd set the width, for example, and then you'd set some position, absolute or static, and then you can set some margin. So all this stuff you do uh, from CSS or from um, a CSS file, but it will take a, long, a longer time and you probably couldn't do it yourself. You need developers and that's us. So you have plenty of settings. You can change the background. You can change the background color. So you you can do ton of, tons of stuff. You can also change uh, you can change uh, fonts. You can change um, everything. Basically, many things relating to CSS. And also there is a section where you can actually put your own CSS style. So basically, you can do everything. Now that was the old part. The new part, I'll just cancel this, I don't like that look. The new part is the this section where you can write different CSS styles for different devices. So for example, let's say that I want this uh, module at the top to be 50% on, desktop, on desktops and on phone I want it to go 100%. So maybe on all devices I'll just write it 50%. Okay, so now it stretches half the screen. And on a uh, phone, I would want it to go 100%. Okay, save. Now, 
let me refresh the page now I will do that trick where I resize this and as soon as I get to the you see to the uh, phone resolution I get this stretching 100% make it big it gets back to 50% so you can write uh, you can target different modules for for different devices and you can do it per module per container so it's very very powerful in that regard and it gives a new mechanism and I hope it is easier and more more powerful to do this kind of responsive design but uh, let me also show you another option so let's say that I don't want this shown at all on uh, on phones so I'll just go on the phone and just say that this is hidden so this is hidden on phones so let, let's see how this looks like now I'll refresh the page so now it still has 50% on all devices like I told you but as soon as I get to the phone it disappeared so it's not, it no longer appears so it's very very easy to write this kind of responsive functionalities and this is half of the power that we've implemented in version 2.0 let me show you the other half which is the server conditions so here in server conditions I already had a test here so basically this is a token that comes with my tokens that says if browser is mobile device if it's mobile device then the mo this module will show otherwise it will not show so you can ask me why, why, why did we see it so far well we are administrator administrators we are in edit mode but if I were to close the edit mode the page would reload and is gone you see I mean edit mode I mean view mode is gone I go into edit mode it appears remember that you also need to display this container if the container is not displayed so if this checkbox is off then easy container will never run on uh, view in view mode and it will never apply all this magic with responsiveness and with conditions so this this is uh, is a simple example that we wrote here next I'm going to do a more complex example and remember that you can always go into my tokens and see all these core tokens that are available out of the box so what I'm going to do now just to show you the power of this I'm going to hide this module that I just showed you after the first visit so basically this module says uh, every journey starts here with first step so okay if you already saw this page just hide this and to do that we are going to use cookies okay let me get out this because it troubles me and in the condition we are going to change the presence of a cookie so let's say cookie is first visit and here I could uh, compare it to something but I will make it a uh, boolean but I'll compare it anyway so you can see so show it only if first time visit is true but of course the first time the cookie is not set so I will default it to true so now it will say if cookie is first time visit which defaults to true if doesn't exist equals true then the container is shown and so it will show on the first time and next thing I will use a, a another my token called set cookie I will use this token inside the HTML module just to set the cookies now you know most of the tokens are read only so they are used to pull data from various places like in my tokens let's like create SQL queries and so on web services and pull all the data input it here in the HTML module or other modules there are a few tokens that do the other way around they push data and that is what this uh, set cookie token does it it uh, it writes sorry it writes uh, content to the browser cookies so it will not display anything so I can use it safely set cookie is first time I believe first time equals true uh, equals false sorry so when the, this page loads it will set the cookie to that value now the cookies will not be set in the same um, request so the request comes to the server 
this HTML module writes the cookie, but in the same request, Easy Container doesn't see the new cookie. So for Easy Container, it's not set yet because the browser sends the cookies. They are not kept in, in Easy Container. Okay. So let's uh, see if I name this correctly. I didn't save this. That bothers me. Uh, okay. So uh, in the condition field is first time, I believe. So now I'm in edit mode, so I always see this, but because the page already loaded, the set cookie token executed. So now if I close the edit mode, it's gone. Now if I were to cl clear the cookies, refresh, you see, the module is here again, refresh again. It's gone. Clear again. Refresh. It's there. Refresh again. It's gone. So you see, this gives you very much power into building dynamic web pages. So you're no longer limited to DNN or building separate web pages for different scenarios. You can have one page and use all this logic to show hide modules and also for responsive define which modules have, are visible on each devices and override the styles because you don't want backgrounds you don't want backgrounds on mobiles but you want them on desktop devices and you don't want uh, multi-column layouts on mobile devices and stuff like that so that's it i hope that i convinced you to try easy container and uh, help us give it the fame it deserves that's it Thank you for your time.